Hi, one of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A. Uh, I'm Mark, a former scuba diving instructor. Uh, if you do have any questions, by all means, pop them down in this comment section underneath this video and use this Ask Mark hashtag. Uh, it just highlights it, so uh, so I do my best not to, uh, to forget it. Uh, I do type out an answer as soon as I see them and the community as well does an awesome job of answering questions. Thank you everybody for that. Uh, so if you do see a question underneath this video and you do know the answer, to it, uh, by all means, let them know your two cents. Uh, today, I'm answering a question from a mega epic llama uh, about P valves on dry suits. So the mega epic llama says, hey Mark, if I'm not using the P-valve during a dive, should I remove it and install the blanking plug or is the off valve sufficient? Um, sort of. Uh, P-valves, for anyone who uh, who is uninitiated on a uh, an, on a dry suit if you are planning a very long dive uh, and you want to stay suitably hydrated uh, you can have a p valve fitted usually to one leg like inner thigh of your dry suit and it's a simple valve you get balanced and unbalanced ones uh, similar to regulators um, I always choose balanced, uh, just so I don't have to fight the water pressure outside. Um, but on the outside, they're usually quite simple. You have a little screw valve uh, cap that opens and closes, and there's a, a sealing surface in here. And then on the inside of the dry suit, uh, you usually have a hose. Uh, I usually remove my hose just because it kind of gets in the way when I'm not using it. Um, but it's quite similar to your uh, your inflator valve. You have a um, kind of like a sandwiching section where you can, I can't, my one's already tight. Um, but you can remove that and just fit a blanking plug. They do exist. Um, just double check who makes the actual valve because there's a few manufacturers of P valves and I'll imagine it's not a universal size. So um, yeah, you, you wanna make sure that you get the right size blanking plug for your particular P-valve. Um, pros and cons of leaving it versus um, fitting a, a blanking plug. One, if it fits and it seals, then yeah, arguably I suppose there's would there be an extra sealing surface or an extra failure point? Maybe. Um, the, the benefits of, of removing it are one, you, you don't have quite as much. I mean, I can't say I've ever noticed this, even with it being like pretty much in your inner thigh, you don't really notice it on a dive. Even, even though you're finning, it, it doesn't get in the way or rub, so, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, the hose on the inside, and it is just a hose. Um, oh, it's buried under stuff, so I won't get it. Uh, it is just a, a basic um, hose. It's got a little clip on the end that you fit the uh, external catheter to. Um, that's a fun game. Um, but yeah, you just have this extra hose on the inside of your dry suit. Again, it's one of those things that you only really notice when you're donning and doffing the suit. Um, once you're actually in the suit, I can't say I've ever noticed just the bare hose when it's connected or disconnected um it just does its thing um i've gone through a spate where i've just haven't used it uh, a lot so i just remove that in in a hose they just unscrew um so yeah after you clean it uh, you choose whether to put it back on or not um but fitting a blanking plug then yeah you're you run the risk of a like cross threading um, your um, uh, your P-valve the next time you go to put it on. Also, you don't know the uh, the integrity. I've always been a um, an advocate for if it's sealing when it's in its current place, just leave it um, because whenever you move it, you're disturbing that seal. And then when you go to put it back on, when you next jump in the water, you might get wet. There's always a chance um, because you just don't know that. Um, uh, whether you've done it up tight enough or or whatever, it's it's a matter of it should ideally seal, but it's uh, you always run that risk. Um, so for me, the 
the benefits of fitting a blanking plug don't really outweigh the uh, the cons of leaving your uh, your p valve fitted because i don't notice it inside of my suit i don't notice it outside of my suit um and if it is sealing and i i touch wood hmm, uh, i i rarely have an issue with my p valve leaking um it's it's quite trustworthy uh if yours is less trustworthy then yeah i'd think about getting a, a blanking plug uh, but for me it's not that much of an issue to, to just leave it connected uh yeah that's the hose uh if anyone's interested uh is uh, i say simple hose uh but it's just a little rubber hose um that end uh, screws into the um, uh, the p-valve itself uh, and then the other end connects onto the uh, the external catheter um and yeah it is best to remove them to uh, to clean them properly for obvious hygiene reasons and um uh yeah it just kind of struck me as what well, what's the point in uh, in refitting it if i'm not going to um going to be using it on my next dive and um and yeah that just kind of sits in the bag um ready for for the next time i might need it but yeah unless you are planning on some some long dives where you need to dehydrate um yeah i i usually leave mine fitted um i, I don't bother fitting a um or investing in and then fitting a uh, blanking plug it just seems a little a little extreme for me um yeah just make sure it's, it's closed tight um before your next dive that's the last thing you want to experience is a, a, a cold thigh. Um, but yeah, any other questions, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, use this AskMark hashtag in your comment and uh, that will highlight it behind the scenes so I know to respond to it. Uh, and if it's a really interesting question, I'll turn it into a video. Uh, otherwise, remember to head over to our website, scubadivermag.com. Check out our magazine along with the latest scuba diving news and gear reviews. And of course, like, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thank you for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving.